It's an all-star battle this season where everybody's doing good and nobody gets negative critiques. That's right. The sun is rising on these all-stars. No! You don't know what you're doing! No! 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 Please don't play me. But we're going to start the season of Grid because Doko, I don't know what the fuck Soon Soon said, but we pulled the only Cyan Soon Soon. Doko, I don't know what the fuck Soon Soon said, but we pulled the only Cyan Soon Soon. Doko, I don't know what the fuck Soon Soon said, but we pulled the only Cyan Soon Soon. Doko, I don't know what the fuck Soon Soon said, she also fit the theme for the promo look because she came in white, that wig, together. Nine out of ten, Soon Soon. You have made it to the Hall of Fame. But that release form? Ra her hair Anna was looking Kunda. correct. She said, she me koro se shaburu. Shabli. She said, oh my mamo shindeiru. Oh! Uyukai desu wa? Sliced! Can you imagine? They give her this little, like, not doo-doo, but they give her, like, this, like, when the creator rightfully so in the back because they're the best around course. <laughs> and she has like this like it's like a snake skin. Uh-huh. Like it's like invisible barrier. I was like, all right. All right, invisible snake. All right, and she said I am camouflaging. But then that little Quincy's sister said, No no. Shoot it down. Right <laughs> Shoot them down. Oh, my lane says, are you ready to talk about some all-stars? We're going to do promotion, promotion, give me some devotion. Promotion, promotion, give me <laughs> uh, some lotion. The new single of the Crimson Monastery. <laughs> <laughs> not some now, lotion. Now that I call myself doo-doo ashy, <laughs> the phoenix is rising because I'm chapping everywhere. Or... But it's also falling <laughs> again. <laughs> if I was, I would be the phoenix new Tory. Fat, stank, and can't fly. <laughs> Ah! Phoenix Miwatori. Oh, yes. I like the other Because the sun never sets on an all-star. That's right, because nothing but good vibes and no eliminations. This is so doo-doo. Bitch, my left the right, this is World War VI! Damn. No, hold on. This is the promo. It's like oh. we haven't watched episode one. You're going to let the girl... <laughs> I mean, well, <laughs> rewind. And welcome back to the most anticipated pageant perfection section of this year. We are here covering RuPaul's Drag Race All Star 7 promotion of. Oh, winner season! You're a winner, baby. You're a winner, baby. You're a winner, baby. Are you a winner, baby? Even I the ghosts are hyped oh. for this season. Oh. Ooh. Whispers in the wind. <laughs> You're a winner, baby. <laughs> Sister, how are you, my three encrypted judge? Oh, you know, I'm quite thrilled because we have quite the lineup of people here today. Some that even I know with my very limited knowledge of oh. drag race. Oh, 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 oh. Also, cue the start of me confusing everybody in this season. Oh. Girl, not me confusing Jada Essenthal with Stasha Sanchez. Which, Stasha Sanchez, let me just say right now, a true legend of drag and a true icon, and she will get her own segment because Stasha Sanchez is the only diva that I will ever acknowledge here at the Christmas Monastery to be an excellent perfection of flawless nails. Oh, let's go. Oh, shit. And then confusing Trinity the Tuck with Trinity K. Bonet. Like, what the fuck is these? The curse. Of the furry cat suit. Don't do her because I will battle you until the day that this earth takes us to the valley of the end and me and you, Sasuke and Naruto, it out. And let so, me tell you how, no. like Curse, Don't you do it. and my final turn, no, no, no. the rest of my HP Enough. will dwindle to zero. Ah! And I will die. No! <laughs> Trinity K. Bonet, the sun never sets on an all star. <laughs> Please retire. No! Bo, bo, bo. But yes, we bo, have some bo, new bo, divas. 
but we do like that we have a judge coming in with a fresh perspective because that just gives me you're not gonna be as biased as me the crimson scream the crimson tomorrow and you're gonna be able to be objectively like you know what let me see the drag let me see the talon girl let me tell you how come on they're not even ready oh but what well, to begin oh, but so with that I've s- seen some of these names oh. i already have a preconceived oh. idea come on on like the type of drag and like their makeup talent and all of that oh, 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 oh. so it'll be really interesting to see them oh. the curse has started that's right <laughs> Not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> with that, the category for the promo, we have some promo looks because we're going to start yes. every season starts with a promo. We're going to judge the promo. The promo was like, you're a winner. And I, I like to say nude, crystal, like opulent, diamonds. We're thinking g- jewelry, glam, all the all the things. Okay, so. Okay, question mark. Okay. So I guess we'll see. But we have broad themes here. So, I don't know. <laughs> then let's start with our first contest on. No, Atlanta. Miss Jinx Monsoon. Jinx Monsoon and her no eyebrows. She okay. She has such a scary face. Hold on, because we're talking about the promo look. I know. Okay, come on, choir teacher. <laughs> Honestly, it's and these stockings into this church lady heel, this girl, church lady pomp. Because we love a church lady pomp. Don't get me wrong. And Jinx, I can see that she's going to be sticking with the hair color theme. Cause... Orange. Right. So I do see a little one, two, similar of like, you know, stapling herself down as that's her thing. But I will say, other than the chunky clunky shoe... <laughs> I don't hate the dress. It's like stoned. It's nice. It is, but it's. I feel like this is where mm-hmm. I start calling dresses that come from like the Macy's section. Right, because <laughs> you can get a jeweled and bedazzled dress. Mm-hmm. But for me, is that if there's no jeweled and bedazzlement, mm-hmm. um, the trimmings enough or like on the sides of the dress to really give it mm-hmm. some interest, because mm-hmm. the bottom is just plain white sheet. Choir teacher, no. choir singer, but I she's the lead know. singer. I mean, she's beautiful. Yeah, the she makeup is a this... little like dark though for the for everything to be so angelic Girl, kind of. She is the dark witch trying to infiltrate the white party. So okay, that is true. So sister, the cryptid knowledge is asked today. What would we be giving Miss Jinx Monsoon? A five, of course. Oh, we're starting off very truthfully. Because when I say you have sat there and you have read my palm and you said, I know what your score is because I will also agree with you. This is a five. Jinx, you did good. You're the right. hair is fine. This is fine. It, it really is the white ghost leg coming out from her. <laughs> Look, it looks like a roll of toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> Right, like, it's cute. that arm looking like a boiled chicken wing. Right, which... We're seeing it for you, though. Mm-hmm. So with that... This orange hair really saved thank this so. look. Right. The only thing that popped. Because every white on white on white. What did we say? Too much. Clear. Too much I am blinded. <laughs> I can't right. see. With that, though, we're going to move on to the next diva joining the All-Stars cast of winners, Miss Monet Exchange. Oh, my God. And Monet, it came out here in a little coat of rue and... <sighs> Oh my god. Okay, and a little like Medusa hair num- number Cito. Let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. Tell me. Go ahead. What do you think? What are you seeing? No necklace. Famous monastery critique. But I love this. Oh, First okay. of all, the dress, mm-hmm. really short, and it has such this interest, like, with the cutouts in the side, and then with this Ooh. asymmetrical cut, and then it has, like, this little tie here. Yes. And then it how it hangs delicately on her, delicately, mm-hmm. on her leg, like, yes. super close to the cooch. Yes. Love that. Mm-hmm. Her legs, how bare it is, because, like, the rest of her is bare, because it's, like, yes, everything says. else looks so shiny and nice. And, like, these sleeves coming down. I don't know if this is, like, a jacket. Mm-hmm. Is it a jacket? It is, like, a pu- big puffy jacket. But Love she- that right. for her. And then this Medusa hair on top of that. Oh, and yes. then, I I don't know how you feel about the shoes, but I love mm. the shoes. Definitely the best one we've seen so far. I'm going to give this a boot. 
shorts. I like how dainty they are because I feel like if they were the clear shoes, zero out of ten. That's true. Ooh. But mm-hmm. because it just has that nice, crisp, clean white, mm-hmm. it's clean, concise, clean, and she's concise. got these curvy, nice legs. Listen, oh Monet, god. hello, I'm seeing you. Oh my god, this is something. I'm seeing like... you. I'm looking at you. Hold on, hold on. I have to ask you though, because I'm. Ask I got, me. I got a little taste of what you were giving, so I would have to ask you. This sounds like you're, you're dipping into the pools. <laughs> Of maybe an eight, a rue. Maybe no. a oh, <laughs> it's a nine. Oh, that's right, Monet coming out strong it's with a, a nine. nine. How... That's right. Anything else less than that is robbery. Oh my God! Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Because I agree with you. However, don't do it. I'm gonna have to enlist the help of my sister Fubuki Man. I hate eight. <laughs> Not the shoes also sparkling. It's a nine for me. I thought it was just white. So even better. Because now it These matches the jacket and the dress. Shoes are cute. It's going to be a 6 out of 10 for me. No. I don't like these shoes. I'm so Zero sorry. 0 out of 10 on that Boo. opinion. 6 down in the scoreboard. Everything else is do, fine. I agree. Do. It's fine. It's fashion forward. It's fine. It's, fine. it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm. The Crimson Bias da, has taken over. The Crimson Bias has activated. Yeah, no, no, no. Activated. No, because <laughs> <laughs> next diva we have. Not even because and the next diva. Goodbye. The next diva comes to the stage is Raja. Okay. Girl, I was excited for Raja for two seconds. <laughs> what happened to the rest of the fifty-eight seconds <laughs> in that minute? Orange. <laughs> ah, no. Okay, she's a little orange, but okay. We love. No. <laughs> Okay. Actually, baggy jumpsuit with this baggy raincoat looking like a bedazzled Clinique no. worker. No! With these I lab love... coats. And then this silver wig. Can't you look a fool? Excuse me. No. Oh, you're about to stop right there because I'm about to... I'm about to run through like a fucking... <laughs> like a train bitch because no! first of all... And the shoes... Clunk and dunk. They that look is like not clogs. a clunk and dunk. Clogs. She's got a heel. No. With this brown boot part on top. Uh, clogs. Mm. And then bag again. Baggy jumpsuit. I know it's jeweled. Bo, bo, bo. Zero out of ten. No, no. Let me tell you something. This, I love this. No. <laughs> I secretly love this because she took a different approach from everybody else. Sell it to me. She, let me tell you why. Because, yes, you say it's baggy, but you do see that it drapes along the top. It tricks across the, the where the bust is, and then it does the same thing in the hip, and it does the same thing at the bottom, and she is wearing a motherfucking heel. So, yes, it might look like it's a little chunk and dunk, but it is still a fucking uh, platform heel. It's big. She's also sparkling throughout the whole motherfucking costume. The hair is a motherfucking 8 out of 10. The mug is right. The jewels are there. The shoulder pads giving me a different dimension cut. And she made it, if you see the sleeves, it's like the glove. It's not all the way up to her arm, which I secretly love that even more. Because it looks like she's literally made of stones wearing a jacket made of diamonds. That's very nice. Bah! You are. Let me tell you. I bias. didn't say anything yet. So, sister, what are you going to give Miss Raja? This is a motherfucking eight because I like the way this was constructed, the way that this looks, the way that this sparkles, the way that she's selling it. And on top of everything, she's the only one that actually stood out a little bit because she said, I'm going to have my own silhouette and I will be the one that you all look to for a fashion forward advice. <laughs> That's nice. I'm giving her a three. (sighs) I will never forget! Like, I don't like it at all. I just think the bodysuit is too loose. Like, I feel like it looks like an ill-fitted jumpsuit. Like, it it gives me auntie vibes. 
And then it's like this quote is very interesting. And I feel like it could have really been like the statement piece in there. But it's like heavily fighting this bodysuit. And then the fact that this is a big flowy coat with this big flowy jumpsuit. It's just this crotch area that really draws my eye because I'm like, girl... It's like how, you remember those girls when, like, they discovered harem pants? Yes. For those brief moments in the 2000s, and then they came out with harem pants that were, like, really tight, high up oh, on the leg, mm-hmm. and then only yes. baggy in the crotch, and I was like, okay, so loaded diaper, this is a loaded diaper <sighs> bodysuit, or jumpsuit, bedazzled, to me. So, if it, maybe it was skin tight, because we've seen skin tight, mm-hmm. bedazzled things before. I'm just going to understand. I also don't like this silver hair. Because I see in the back, like, because you zoomed in on that hair. I love this silver bun she's got Uh here. So if her hair was actually this color throughout, I think that would have been very clean. Mm -hmm. But this, because here's the thing, this gray silver, it's like, damn, that's shiny like a spoon. Well, we're just going to have to disagree. Three out of ten. Because the next diva coming out is Miss Shea Coulee. Okay. Okay. This is someone who wore a bodysuit correctly. She did. She looks like she's dripping in crystal. And she looks like if you hugged her, she would hurt. It's like not even just like, mm-hmm. oh, I have Swarovski crystals. Like this bitch has like, mm-hmm. she's like, I got rocks. She does. It looks like she really came out from the Adamind Caves. Mirror walls. <laughs> Like, hello. That's right. I am the girl you want to buy. <laughs> it's also her makeup. Like, yeah, this looks silver great. eyeshadow she did. I'm going to be honest with you. Tell me. I appreciate honesty. <sighs> this is an eight for me. I love it. I would have to agree. I love it. The only thing that I don't like is that little transition at the bottom, but it's very minor. Other than that, I love everything about um, this. Um, for me, what really and I don't doesn't like the, give no me the nine for me, girl, she could have used maybe like a light choker, or like something to yeah. transition, because like the neckline goes like into a nice mm-hmm. swooping shape. But this is like oh, honestly, she of looks course. like her makeup, her hair, her everything is just yeah. She, she came, really fucking. She really came correct. She really emerged from the fucking diamond caves and said, "Hello, I'm here too." You know, I've never really because you know, obviously, I don't know anything about nothing about Drag Race, right? But mm-hmm. you know, for somebody that doesn't know who she is and what she's done, I was expecting. I was not expecting to like her, mm-hmm. but I like. Shea Kool-Aid, you let us have it, and we are sipping on that Kool-Aid. Oh, sip, sip. That's right, because double eights, right? Double eights. Come on, Shay. You honestly, she ate this runway. And then next up, we have the Vivian. Oh, the Vivian. Boo. Oh, the Vivian. Okay. I love the hair, or the piece on her head. Yeah. I love the outfit up to her shoulders and to her hips. Everything below that is this. zero. This is a hmm. <laughs> Mama. Oh no no! I need to know what you give this because I very much remember a score that I did not agree with. So I want to know what you give this. <laughs> I mean, I don't like it. I, I know. I just want to know what you give it. Because, I'll you give know, it a two. Um, first of all, this cat suit underneath this dress. First of all, this, I hate the cut of this dress. Right. And then the way that the, the, the background, are not my favorite. the shoes are not it with this. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I only like this part here. Her, her her bust I and her mean... hair. That's it. Two points. Ha! Huh, to be honest, yeah, you that's the the cryptic truth because yeah, I'm gonna agree. It's just it's so disappointing. This was more beige and nude than crystals. Which you know that's fine. Yeah, I just don't remember like... the Vivian and went on money, girl. I guess right. I just don't like the bodysuit. Yeah, so two 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 Especially and then we already mean you don't like dresses that uh, have all these sleeves on there like imagine if the it just, if she cut it off right here and then had this swooping and her shoulders were bare and it was like that would be at least something pretty i saw the effort and i liked it but no it's a two period poo. like no next diva that's coming into the stage is trinity the tuck taylor not k bonet don't okay the confusion of the Trinities. <laughs> <laughs> so Trinity the Tuck. Okay. It feels heavy. I like, feel it feels like it's drooping. Like... 
I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll like wrap it up. It's, it's a six. Yeah, it's missing something. Which is why it's a six. It's not bad. I would have to agree. It's mm. like sh- shoes are too basic for this dress. Yeah, and hair then and accessories no necklace. correct, but no necklace. Something is missing on the arms. I don't know. Like I feel like the the like the fringe is really long, so it kind of like you know where it's like if it's that long, then you might as well have made a fringe gown like it's but like, it's like just long tassels i just feel like this is a situation of like the dress wore you definitely the best one we've seen so far i'm gonna give this a boot oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh and i like i like her face in which this. is I, like i like her face yeah. and her hair i feel like is... she did the assignment from the waist up yeah i love she looks like it would be sickening but then yes. the bottom is just so big and so chong and then leads into these but shoes. You, why do you hate a white pump? It's not that I hate a white <laughs> pump, but it's like okay. First and foremost, like this is pump. this is about to get nitpicky. Let's go. Not white. Okay. One. Why, one. Hold on. Nitpicky, and even though. and even if okay, fine. It's yeah. like the shoes are sparkly silvery, and it's uh-huh. like. I, what okay. the chains it's like the color theory of it doesn't mm. match like there's not enough white anywhere else like that's why if she I, had something okay. of this I, material yes. maybe on her My arm somewhere oh, yeah. that would kind of like bring a little bit more like okay this shoe is a little or bit more necklace. involved into the outfit that's or true. into the necklace that's true. but she didn't do that so with that being said, sticks Go across the board. to sleep <laughs> yes a ne- six. next diva we have Evie Oddly oh boy all right, quickly. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I need a good look at it. It's a three. What am I looking at? A three. <laughs> <laughs> but what is okay? So she did a three. <laughs> this is a three. Cra- <laughs> craziness. Here's the thing. I feel like, in the sake of being different. Things are just confusing. <laughs> and it don't make sense. I said three. I don't know if you heard me. <laughs> well, I'll give it a four. Okay, I see that. That's very nice. That's it. <laughs> and with that, we are coming up to our last diva. The essence of everything that is crystallized and pure. Jada, the essence of Nine Hall. Just start spraying in tongues right now. Release it in Jesus' name. Just start speaking it. Come on, brush it up. Oh, what? What? Who? Oh no! Who said what? Oh, did you hear that? Girl. There is a monastery monster here with us. Oh, okay. But Jada Essence the night. Oh, what? Jada Essence Hall is here. Girl. Please let me tell you, but, this is beautiful. Okay, but mm-hmm. there are things about it that I'm kind of like meh about. Like I don't like the stockings. Like I love I this. I love the stock. That's my favorite part. I don't like the crossing, crossing um, like thing on it. But it goes with the corset. Okay, but I like. It. Don't like it. Love it. Cause like the gloves. It's amazing. Like if it was a little bit more simplified, like the gloves where it has things kind of going down it instead of like too much of that. Mm-hmm. I feel like it would have been nicer. Okay, that's that's fair critique. I personally love the hair. The way the hair right. is encrusted in jewelry. Yes. The necklace, the earrings, the gloves, the corset, the tassels on the bustle of the corset makes it look so showgirl and polished. The Ooh. crystallized uh, stockings that are all crystal and even in that cross hatching pattern that I get you don't like, all those uh, hatches are crystallized then they lead all the way to the bottom the only critique i would have is that it's an open toed shoe but that is being very nitpicky for me but other than Actually, that it's not even that bad with it being mm-hmm. open toe just because like the i mesh... just don't like open toe shoes oh. i mean but at least she smart the stocking really you don't see them toes. Oh, that is very true. And if you look closer into her thigh, you can see that she has the fishnets, a woman of culture, because the distance between the thigh high and the little fringe, but 
Exactly. On top of that, if we go back to the makeup, Stunning also has diamonds encrusted in there too. The hair. It is this little sundae with ribbons of crystals and diamonds set into it that we love. It. I'm eating it, Jada. I'm eating everything. Jada, the essence of Nine Hall. Is a pretty girl. But with that, I will have to ask my cryptid judge that I love very much and I had lent ten dollars the other day. I will never forget <laughs> for a little lunch money. You better, right. you better be careful. At the Crimson Cafeteria. You better be careful. What are you giving this score for Miss Jada Essence Hall, the essence of perfection hall? No, I mean she's obviously a nine. Like her mm. hair really is correct. Like everything is correct. Like it's a full fucking piece. Okay, nine, come on. So, a hundred percent. I mean, there are things that I probably, like, obviously don't like just because I have yeah. aversions to certain details. Also valid here. We respect all the judges' but opinions. it's not enough to detract points. Like, like for instance, it's not pink, you know? Pinku stinku, we love. And also, <laughs> she's got red bottoms. bottoms. Long heel, go. red bottoms. She said... Coco expensive <laughs> and she looks expensive which she I really looks like, like monet so you gave her a nine i'm gonna have to disagree with you are yes. you serious not i don't see jada as a nine i'm so sorry not this michelle go home it's a 9.5 because oh jada you a you are you are just encrusted. What sister? She's encrusted. Already? She's encrusted. You don't even know what's in store for her. You want no, to no, give no, away no. that 9.5 already? Let me tell you why. I judge looks individually. And when you come out okay. here and your category is crystals and you're a winner and you are perfect pageant perfection, you deserve a 9.5. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to say that she's always going to get a 9.5 now. But this look has to join Angeria in the 9.5 club. So, I'm so sorry. So, 9 and 9.5 for Miss Jada Essence Hall. And with that, I think she is our last diva of the night. I do appreciate they got a small ass cat. Thank you so, Thank much. You so much. We don't want to be here 32 hours. Because, you know, when these girls like to throw balls. And then <laughs> save both of them. <laughs> Multiple episodes. Season 14. Enough. Enough. And <laughs> I need y'all to sit down. But, well, my sister does the crimson tallying up. Well, there is no really tallying up here. Oh, what? Because. You killed it. Obviously, Jada <gasps> is our clear. Oh! Miss Jada Essence Hall is the winter of the promo look. But we did have some close girls that came up. Because I know you wanted to fight for Monet. But she came in third place because Shay <laughs> Coulee. <laughs> but Shay, you so this was the Shay Coulee came through. <laughs> Come on, Je yeah, she really did. She, she really did. She, she looks beautiful. So, she looked very and, nice. And Monet Exchange really also looks beautiful too, but in a more simplified way. Yeah, I think everybody you know, in this Jada uh, just out glamoured you. Come on, and we love a sparkly, darkly, smarkly. Mm. Hello. Mm. So with that, we're gonna crystallize because the Vivian getting twos across the board the vivian and with no money girl the vivian won two dollars and a badge and a hot cheeto bag <laughs> and then we're like girl good luck go into the universe and be successful that's why vivian Boo. please win two dollars this season <laughs> right like do a little number and win ten thousand right because with that now we're gonna crystallize and bitch be glamazons ready for the runway i know and that's tired girl